What is up my dudes? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to MX Fitness HP Legends. Hope you're doing good. Hope you are doing well. We're back to my career mode finally. Apologies straight off the bat. It's been probably, oh, I don't know, at least at least a week maybe without an episode. Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. It depends when I can get this one out. But uh, it's been a little minute. Nothing too crazy, but it's been a little, little longer than usual. Put it that way. Put it that way. So apologies if any of you have uh, been missing the series. Oh my god. Apparently I have. I've landed in a tree. That's the first. I think we've done that before. Nice. Nicely done. I'm actually stuck in a tree now as well. Sick. There we go. All right. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. There's some, uh, been some real world stuff, real world stuff going on. Unfortunately, so I've not had a chance to record. I've been uh, pretty damn ill as well, which you might still be able to hear, hear in my voice. Um, yeah, been pretty bad. Been pretty bad. Nothing, nothing, nothing life threatening, obviously, but just a cold. But uh, <laughs> it's been pretty rough. So. Uh, we're back, we're back with some more, so let's not mess around, let's get straight into it. We obviously, uh, I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't played this game in like two weeks. The last, even though there's been some episodes, they were kind of pre-recorded already, so I've completely forgotten what we're doing. I've not played the game in like two weeks, so I'm going to be rusty, rusty as hell. I was pretty bad anyway, so uh, we'll see how we get on, we'll see how we get on. But um, we're going to jump with the Suzuki, rock this FXR gear, I don't think we've rocked this before. So uh, get back into our 450 national career mode. But first of all, got to speak to our speak to our team. Looks like Cat has moved moved over here for some reason. Let's see what she's got to say. There's a sports network executive that will be visiting the farm later this week. I'm giving him a tour. It would be great if you could show up, maybe sign some autographs for his kids, do a backflip, you know, moto stuff. You know moto stuff. I mean, yeah, we will. I'm sure we will. When what what, what have we got to do? When does that actually happen? I haven't noticed anything in career mode, but all right, cool. We'll wait and see what that's all about. Uh, without further ado, let's get into a race, mate. It's been a while. So, MX, where are we going? Nationals. We've still got eight more of these to do, I think. Yeah, eight more. So we'll just do probably another four in this episode, four in the next episode, and then got a load of other random nonsense. I don't know what she's talking about, saying we need to be at the farm for some for something. Doesn't know like there's anything to do, unless they're going to spring something upon us, maybe. I don't know. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into a race. Let's go to Bighorn, see how we get on. Here we go then, Big Horn, get 5th place or better as our sponsor challenge, let's see if we can do it, as I said it's been a minute, it's definitely been a minute since I played this, so, not that it was particularly difficult when we were playing it, so, I'm sure we'll be able to beat the AI, it's just uh, it might not be pretty, it might not be getting the uh, the rhythm sections down, I mean I wasn't anyway to be fair, so oh my days, we over jumped that a little bit. Wow, okay, that's some interesting uh, physics straight off the bat there, alright, maybe this is going to be harder than I thought it was going to be. We're uh, dying into P11, P... yeah, P11. Oh my god, yeah, I, I can't remember to play this game. So yeah, as I said, apologies. It's been, it's been a, to be fair, it's probably not been that long. It's probably been about a week, I reckon. If this one goes out on Monday as normal, then I think you had one last Monday. So it's only been a week. It's not been that bad. But uh, as I said, those ones that were like Monday and the one the week before was probably pre-recorded a while ago. So it's definitely been a, a second since I played the game. Not as long for you, probably, since you've seen an episode, but, um... What's going on with me, like, crossing up in the air? Anyway, we're back up into P1. Uh, you're going to have to put up my voice breaking and sounding croaky and just being rubbish in general, so I might not be talking too much this episode. I probably will, because I love, you know, I love to waffle on a little bit. I'm already, already waffling right now. Oh, my days, what are we doing? <clears throat> but, yeah, apologies for the, uh, the throat clearing and all that sort of stuff. Can't be helped. I am still feeling a little rough, but I want to play this. We want to get some videos out for you guys and just and play the game. Just play the game. We need to obviously try and finish career mode out. We've still got a fair old bit to do. So, oh my days. This track's mad. But yeah, we're on a Suzuki. Uh, this one is all upgraded. Freeze all round. I did go free to the left on suspension. I think we spoke about this before. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what I've talked about in the last couple of episodes, as I said. I can't remember what, what, what I've said, what I've recorded. So apologies if I repeat myself. But yeah, gone free to the left on suspension because I saw some other people doing it. Soften it up a little bit, maybe, is the idea. But uh, this still feels pretty, pretty hard and pretty bouncy. But uh, probably just the game. I've probably just forgotten. But anyway, we're winning. We're winning. So um, yeah, I mean, what's been happening? I've been doing nothing. I've been pretty ill, as I said. The, the, the COVID's finally got me. Uh, so. Yeah, I've been pretty feeling pretty rough. I still can't speak, apparently, so apologies. My brain is going to be all over the place. But, uh, yeah, apart from that, I'm all good. I'm all good. Everything's all good. So hopefully you're all good, too. Let me know in the comments how you've all been up to, how you've all been. Anybody still playing along with MX vs. ATV Legends, or have you all got kind of bored of it now? Uh, 
Rumors, rumors going around. Well, not rumors, even though I've seen a tweet from. I mean, this was this was probably a week ago. I saw the tweet, so I'm surprised we haven't had the update. But uh, next update, we should be getting some customization stuff, which is which is cool. I feel like we, you know, we, we're kind of for the casual player of this game, people might already be getting a bit bored and sort of putting it down. So I, it seems a little they're taking their time to get some of these updates out. Um, but supposedly we're going to get some customization. Sticker kits, gear, you know, all the, all the all that jazz. So, I mean, look forward to that. I was hoping it's going to be out before I recorded this one. It was kind of another reason, although I felt rough. I was kind of just waiting to see if... Uh, normally they release the patches on a Friday. Um, I'm recording this on a Saturday. But, so I was going to wait and hopefully see see the patch, but... Hasn't materialised, so uh, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see when that comes out. I appreciate, obviously, it's a lot of work for them to do, so we'll wait and see. But um, it'd be cool to get some more customization and stuff. I'm pretty sure they were going to include um, Fox Raceway 2, because obviously the season's finished, <laughs> but we still uh, still don't have Fox Raceway 2 in the game, which is a little bit weird and a little bit rubbish, really. But uh, yeah, what else did it say? I can't remember. I'll try and find the tweet, and I'll, I mean, I, won't, I probably won't put it on screen. If I'm honest, I'll forget to do it. But there's definitely a tweet at some point. I'm sure they said something about it, the Supercross tracks, possibly as well. I don't know if the compound was coming yet. The new, the the kind of. Uh, the, the the real life person's compound. What am I trying to say? One of the pro riders' compounds. I'm not sure if that was in the next patch or if that was going to be after that. But um, yeah, did it mention? I'm pretty sure it mentioned Supercross. Take care of what I'm saying with a pinch of salt because, as I said, my brain is all over the place uh, and I've forgotten a lot of things. So we'll see, we'll see. But I mean, at least at least we're getting something out of it. So um, yeah, we'll keep going, we'll keep playing. Obviously, keep playing. But yeah, it's alright, we're doing alright. I'm doing better than I thought I was going to be doing, actually. I thought I was going to be... I didn't think we were going to lose, because, you know, as we already know, the AI are a little bit too easy. But, um, I thought I'd be a bit more all over the place, but, uh... That is the beauty of an arcade game. One that's slightly more arcadey, is you can get away with not playing it for a while and then pick it up. And, uh, not be too terrible at it. I must say, this Suzuki looks sick, mate. Love it. Oh, don't love that. How did we end up going off the track just because I had the camera on the side? I'm pretty sure I took off in a straight line. I do love the Suzuki, so it's nice to be able to ride this one again. Obviously, now we're in the 450 class. We rocked the Kawasaki last time out, I believe. Um, if, I'm sure we did. If we didn't, I apologise. I'm sure we did, though. I'm sure that's what I said I did. Probably should have gone back and watched my own video to figure out what I was talking about and what we were doing. But, uh, <coughs> yeah. Suzuki time, because obviously we couldn't ride the Suzuki or the Kawasaki in the 252 stroke. Uh, classes because there isn't one in the game. So it's nice to be on something a little bit different. Um, I guess we'll just go back through the, the, the manufacturers again as we go through the nationals. I'll probably jump on a Honda next time. I do like the Honda 450, CRF 450. Probably jump on that next time, mate. But yeah, Suzuki today. Suzuki today, right. We're doing alright. We're, we're miles ahead. We're, uh, this track's getting very choppy. I'm trying to stick in some of these ruts. And uh, take our first win. As I said, we'll probably do four races, depending on how long they are. And then we'll do another four next time out. And then, uh, uh, and then we'll see what else we got to do. It's probably going to be some more trailsy based nonsense. So, I mean, I'll see. I'll, pro I'll probably do them as a proper episode. I don't know if you guys enjoyed the first person stuff, first person their com stuff that much. So I'll probably won't do that again. Uh, but yeah, the trails and rhythm sections and all that stuff is going to be obviously the same as before. But anyway, all right, first race done. We're taking a win, mate. Beautiful. Happy days. Right. Not a bad way to come back. Nice little podium. Let's jump into the next one. I'll see you there. Here we go then. Coffee Hill. National. Uh, we've got to finish second place or better. Again, we should be able to do it. Should we do... Let's do first person. Let's, let's, let's have a go. Let's have a go. Let's see if I can ride in first person. Let's see how difficult this is going to be. Ooh. I'm gonna not take that little. Oh, that was. Uh, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. I don't think you're ever gonna be able to trip up there. Surely not. Maybe, maybe. Don't know. It's nice being on the 450s. It is, it is easier. Definitely got a lot more power, obviously. Oh, hang on. I thought the track was going somewhere else. Let's get this crazy. This would be horrible in real life, man. Trying to get this hill, like, over it almost whoops. That, that is just. That would be a nasty bit of track. Oh, are we going to clear that? Yeah, we are. Nice. Do 
cheeky little sort of whip in the air. They, they always look like it's whipping more in first person, but it's probably, if we were in third person, it probably wouldn't be moving at all. Oh, hello. I don't know where I was going then. Messed that right up. We're going to have to just roll over this. I don't think I'd have made it. Yeah, we've definitely done this trap before. Definitely on this one a few times. Still hoping they put the uh, the pro national tracks in career mode. They like add an extra bit onto career mode. Or I, I know it doesn't make much difference. We could just go and race them if we want to. Oh, we ain't clearing now, are we? Oh yeah, we might. We might just about. Yeah, 450 power. Oh, we case that a bit. To be fair, but definitely helping us out, mate. Definitely getting us out of trouble. A 450 grunt. But yeah, what's been happening in the real world? Don't know, not a lot. No, obviously, Miracross is finished, Pro Miracross is finished. I, I'm not going to lie to you, I kind of... I, I don't know, I just kind of fell out, fell, fell out of following it this year for some reason. I don't know why, because it wasn't even like it was boring. It was pretty entertaining, obviously, Tomac and uh, Sexton. So Tomac took the, the win, championship, obviously, in the end. But um, I don't know, I just didn't... Last couple of races, I just kind of didn't watch and didn't really keep in sort of on top of it for some reason. I don't know why, because it's probably one of the better seasons we've had in a while. So, I don't know. Weird. I just didn't just didn't, 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 love it this year for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, it's obviously all over. So, before you know it, we'll be back in Supercross. We've obviously got the uh, the World Supercross Championship. Is that what it's called? World Supercross Championship. It's obviously the European-style championship uh, coming up in October. It's actually obviously in Cardiff in, uh, in Wales, obviously. Not too far away from me. I don't. I don't I've said I live in England, not Wales, but uh, yeah, should be cool. Should be cool. I'm not going. I haven't got tickets for it, so unless I get hold of some at some point, I doubt I will. Uh, it was pretty pricey, or it seemed pretty pricey. Maybe it's just me being a bit tight. I don't know, <laughs> but it seemed quite expensive. So kind of why I didn't go for it, but oh, I probably should have because it's going to be good. I reckon it's going to be good, man. Obviously, we've got all the big names there: Roxon, Eli. We'll see. Uh, Dean Wilson's doing it, Max Tancy's doing it for the Brits, those two. Uh, who else is doing it? I don't know. Again, I've not really kept on top of it all. But um, it should be pretty cool to see what happens with all that. There's obviously been a bit of um, controversy con con controversy in the past week with uh, around Ken Roxon's Honda deal. Um, again, I've not really prepared myself for this episode, and I've not really read the news properly and remembered what it was all talking about. So take what I say with a pinch of salt, but uh, there's also been some, some contract issues with uh, with HRC in, in terms of his American contract. So, for, from what I, the basics I know, he he came out saying they withdrew his contract offer that he had, but it now turns out that he actually rejected it. Again, this is all, this is all hearsay, so I mean, you never know what's actually happened behind the scenes. But effectively, Honda put in his contract, Ken Roxon's contract for the Supercross and Pro Motocross, the American series. They said basically you can't ride in any other series, is what I think has now come out. Uh, which is obviously trying to stop him from doing this. Oh, nearly crashed. It, this, this world. It won't be for this year, obviously. He's already signed up for World Supercross this year, but if you want to do it again, they were basically saying no. Um, I really don't know why. I don't. I assume he's riding the Honda in World Supercross. I know it's not the same team, but he's still riding for HRC. Or, well, maybe he's not. Maybe it's not HRC. I don't know. Maybe it's not HRC back team. This is what I mean. I haven't, uh, I probably should have read up on it a bit more. <laughs> I haven't really looked into it, but... I don't know why they try and stop him doing it. I, I, maybe he wants to come back to Europe. He's obviously from Germany originally. He's obviously not American. I know he's raced in America for years. Majority of his career, but... Maybe he wants to come back to, to Europe and do some of the... the... Oh, dude. Some of the MXGP stuff, maybe? I don't know. And maybe they, they're kind of blocking him from doing They want to block him from doing that. So, effectively, he told him to, to piss off. Uh, so, oh, we'll wait and see what happens out of that. I mean, he's not at his best anymore. I think, without being harsh, I think his... his, his we've seen the best of Ken Roxon, I think. And that sounds really mean. I I, I really like Ken Roxon as a, as, a, as a fan. I think we've probably seen the best of him. So, he's coming to the end of his career, but... I don't know. Anyway, we'll, con let, we'll continue that discussion in a minute. We've obviously just taken the win without me even acknowledging it. So let's jump into the next race. We'll continue that discussion. See you there. Oh, I'll go back to the compound. All right, see you at the compound first. What we've got to do at the compound then? Let's go talk to whoever we need to talk to. It's probably going to be a pointless conversation with our boy TJ, though. So, what's up? Uh, there's a box for you. Oh, oh, fantastic, mate. Phoenix Talent MX Brakes. Brilliant. Right. That was completely worth it, wasn't it? Right, let's jump into the next race. Here we go, next race, uh, we're going to North Pond. We've got a wreck less than five times, should be all good. We'll jump back in third person. 
get a good start, get away from the pack. Oh, not a good start, but as per usual, we're uh, jumping out front. Oh, we've definitely done these tracks a lot, haven't we? They're starting to become more familiar for me. There we go, taking the old shot. To try and get away again, I guess. Maybe the last race we'll do a, a last first style. Well, we'll try and get to first. I think we tried that last episode and we, uh, we, I failed miserably. But, uh, right, we're away, we're away. Anyway, what's I saying about Ken Roxon? So, I don't know. Yeah, I think we've seen the best of him, probably. He's obviously, like, he's come back from some absolutely insane injuries. Most people would have retired after the stuff that happened to him. So, I mean, he never, you know, I mean, it's not over with. We've still got Supercross, or have we? Is that technically his next contract? Is he technically not signed up for Supercross? See, I don't know. I should have checked this stuff. Was it... Like, where did their contract run from? Is it from Supercross through Pro Motocross and then it ends? Or is it from Pro Motocross and then Supercross? So he's already signed for Honda for Supercross, maybe? I don't, I don't actually know. I don't think he is. I've got a feeling it's, it's done with and he's going to have to find a ride for, for Supercross. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if I've got that completely wrong. But yeah, I think... Um, I'm not saying he's going to retire anytime soon, he's probably going to keep racing, but as I said, maybe he wants to try something different again, come back to MXGP, maybe, I don't know, maybe he doesn't, maybe he doesn't want to do that at all, no one really knows, obviously, but uh, he's obviously got a pretty good life over in America with his wife and his, his kid, uh, so maybe he wants to stay in America, but he just wants to be able to do some of the other championships when he wants to, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, but um, whatever happens, I think, unless he makes an absolute crazy bit of progress and just gets his ultimate speed back he's still fast obviously I mean he was was he fourth overall in the championship this year I mean that is that's some good going man like it was only Eli Sexton uh who was who was third was it um Jason Anderson or am I making stuff up again who was it I honestly can't remember I, mean, I think it was Anderson possibly I don't know yeah, we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see what happens. But yeah, there's some controversy going on with this contract, so could be seeing rocks on something else other than a Honda. I don't know. We'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. I think he is riding a Honda for the, the World Supercross stuff. As I said, I don't know what team and stuff, but uh, I'll try and find out and maybe we'll talk about it next episode as well. But um Yeah, definitely a bit controversial, Honda. Not wanting him to race, so oh my days, we're crashing into the start finish gate, the start gate even. Get up, dude, get up, come on. Oh, we've got dudes flying over us. What's going on? So, yeah, we'll see what happens with all that. See what happens with all that. It could be interesting. What would you want to see him on? Is, it, is anybody a Ken Roxon fan? I, I'm, I'm a big Ken Roxon fan. I'm, he's, he's my top guy that I, I follow the most. Never been a big Eli fan. I don't know why. I mean, felt like I've got nothing against him. I don't, I don't dislike him. Uh, but I've just never been a big fan for some reason. Never, never followed him that much. Always been a Roxon fan. So. Let me know what you think. What do you want to see him on? I There's rumours he's going to KTM, but I just... There's already a pretty stacked team at KTM, but then I suppose they're not going to say to no to a guy like Roxon. Even... He might not get the championship results. You know, he might not get the championship, but he, he's still... Sort of promotion-wise, like... Sponsorship deals and, you know, and people just liking him as a, as a rider. He's the kind of dude you want on your team. Just... Even if it's just to make money. <laughs> like, off of the fans and just get good sort of a uh, good bit of public, public uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, you know what I mean, good good stuff in the public eye and I don't know, just just be good for your team, so I don't know, rumours for KTM, I, I, I don't know, he's been on a KTM before, he's been on a Suzuki before, obviously he won his championships on a Suzuki, um, I'd like to see him on a Yamaha, imagine him being lined up alongside Tomac on a Yamaha, although I don't know, that might not be good for his confidence if he get beat, gets beat by Tomac every week. Can't see him on a Kawasaki, but you never know. You never know. Who Kawasaki got at the moment? Anderson. They're not going to get rid of Anderson. Santorello should be back. I would assume. We'll see what he can do. I'm sure they'll, they'll give him another chance, but Santorello needs to put in some uh, some results as well at some point. He's also been injured, so it's not you know it's not his fault completely. But he's uh he's not really rode that bike. He's just been injured a lot, so. I'd give him the benefit of the doubt, but if he doesn't put any results in, then he could, uh, he could end up losing that ride at some point, I reckon. But, um, kind of going off on one, though. Just chatting up to you, rubbish. I don't know. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Some people say they want to see Ken on the Suzuki, but I don't even know if Suzuki are going to be... I don't know what they're doing, man. They're pulling out of everything. They pulled out of MGP, They pulled out of World Endurance Racing, like road, road racing. They're... I don't know. I don't know. They're just kind of falling, falling apart at Suzuki, saving money. Which is a shame. They've never, I mean, they haven't put a proper effort into Motocross or Supercross for ages, so. 
can't see them starting now when they're pulling out of everything else. So we'll wait and see. If there is a team, I don't know if Kenneth would want to ride it, to be honest. It's a pretty old bike. Not really getting back to very well, so we'll wait and see. But uh, yeah, interesting, interesting. That's pretty much all I've got to say on it, really, because as I said, I've not really done my research properly. So let me know in the comments if you know any more about the situation. Uh, I'll try and read up about it before next episode, maybe, see if anything's changed. Probably won't have, I imagine it'd be quite slow going now. They'll probably let him do his World Supercross stuff and then uh, see what he wants to do afterwards, I guess. He just out of, not spite, that's the wrong wrong word, but just out of the fact they've kind of tried to tell him that he can't ride in other categories, he might just tell him to do one anyway. I mean, he already has, but he might, even if they change the, the contract, they, he might just say, no, you've, you've ruined it. Which, he doesn't need the money. I, I, I'm sure he's been paid pretty well at Honda for the past, uh, what, like five, six years he's been with them. Never quite materialised, as I'm sure they all wanted it to, but obviously, again, it was all because of the injuries. Just got unlucky with those crazy, crazy injuries. Otherwise, I think we'd have seen him Supercross and Maricross champion, I think, with Honda. But anyway, let's turn it into a Ken Roxon uh, episode. <laughs> We'll wait and see, wait and see. Anyway, right, I think we're coming up to the end of this race. We're uh, up in P1 again, by a fairly big margin. I don't think we've crashed too many times, have we? Still haven't crashed five times at least, so that's good. And uh, yeah, we'll do one more race after this, and then we'll call it an episode. But uh, I think I will start at the back. We'll sit on the line for a bit in the next one, see how we uh, see how we get on. But there we go, win number three. Aboard the Suzuki. Nicely done, cool. Jump on the podium, I'll see you in the next race. There we go then, final race of this one. We're uh, we're going to San Sendero. This is quite a hard track if I remember. We've got to exceed 50 miles an hour. Pretty sure we can do that fairly easily. We will, yeah, let's sit. Let's sit on the gate for a bit. Let's sit on the gate for 30 seconds. I'm not worried if we don't win all these races. I can always get back and do them anyway. Pretty sure I need to get back and do another one that we uh, finish second in after trying to do this. So we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see how we go. But doesn't make it that much better it's just a little bit more of a challenge I guess we'll see we'll see I really love this Suzuki man I just they look so cool I hope they don't pull out of everything completely but or at least I don't know they don't, I mean they're not gonna put any more effort in I just can't see it even if they stay in they're not gonna suddenly become a full factory putting all their all their money into it I, well, I don't think they are anyway we'll wait and see but don't get on the track mate right 30 second head start. Might be a bad choice because I this is probably one of the harder tracks. Is it harder? It's probably not harder, it's just. I don't know as well. Let's see what we can do. See if we can catch up to the boys at least. Oh yeah, it's got this stupid corner in it. I mean so far we're going very slow. Double over that one and then send it up this hill. Ooh! It's a bit all over the place this one, definitely a bit all over the place. Can't see anybody yet, which is always a bit worrying. When you start getting round, uh, round the lap and you've still not caught up the, the back markers. See what we do, see what we do. Yeah, let me know, you still enjoying the series? We're, uh, as I said, we're getting through it. We're, uh, we're obviously trying to finish off career mode before uh, anything else comes out. I don't know if we're going to get this done before the Dakar game comes out. We'll probably talk about that a bit more next episode, but I'm really looking forward to that Dakar game. I'm not, I'm not expecting like miracles with the physics and stuff. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit, a little bit clunky maybe with the bikes. I think it's probably more concentrating on the cars and the lorries and stuff. But um, let me know if you're interested in it. I'm going to play it anyway. I'm, I just for something different to do, and it'll, it'll kind of be like this. Like obviously you get, oh no, hang on. Obviously got different disciplines. We're obviously going to concentrate on two wheels, but we will do some other disciplines. We will do the lorries and the truck, uh, the lorries and the cars and. ATVs, it looks like we caught the pack here, so this one might be alright, we might better win this one still. Oh definitely, we're up to 10 for already. Um, yeah, we're gonna do, we'll do a bit of everything in it, we'll do a bit of everything. There's, um, I'll probably talk about it more in that next episode, but yeah. There's different like difficulty levels and stuff, and how hard you want to make it, like, reading the maps and stuff. So, we'll probably get middle of the road, because I've never played a, game, a Dakar game before. So, we won't make it too arcadey, but we won't make it too difficult for ourselves to begin with, at least anyway. So, we'll wait and see. But yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I think it comes out on the 4th of October. I don't know if there's any early access or anything, or if you can pay for it to have it early. We'll wait and see. But uh, yeah, let me know if you're interested. I'm going to play it anyway on the channel. 
obviously we'll continue playing this if we don't finish this beforehand. And, well, we're going to continue playing this anyway, even if we finish career mode. I'm sure there'll be some more stuff coming out. Down the line. Obviously, there will be definitely down the line some more stuff coming out. Supercross tracks and uh, the compound stuff, so... As I said, this one's going to go on for a while, this game. Hopefully, hopefully. We'll see. I don't know if we're getting an a MXGP game this year. I've not seen any anything about it. Again, I'll, I'll have a research, talk about it more next episode maybe, but I've not seen any MXGP stuff, which doesn't mean there isn't one. Milestone do tend to like to leave stuff to the last minute and then just suddenly release the game and not show you any footage or anything So <laughs> before you buy it. So we'll see. Uh, I don't know. I might go back and play the, the MXGP 21 and see what it was like. Because at the time, I thought it was awesome. I thought it was... And then when we played Supercross 5, I thought MXGP was still better than, MX, than Supercross 5. So, if I go back and play it now, it'll probably be really difficult compared to this. But maybe maybe I'll play it at some point. Especially if there is a new one coming out, we'll go back and play it just to kind of get our eye back in at some point. We'll see what Dakar is like, obviously. I don't know I don't know what to expect from Dakar. I don't know what the, if it's going to feel like arcadey like this, or if it's going to be more of a simulation type style thing. I don't think it's going to be too sim, but... We'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. Anyway, I didn't realise, I thought we were in second place. I was looking at the... Oh, as we go off the back of the bike, I was looking at the uh, two out of three laps left, not the first out of 16. I thought we were in second place for some reason. But we're back up into winning ways again. That was uh, that was very easy, catching those boys back up. 30 second head start did, uh, did not really give them much of a lead at all. Oh, heavy landing there. Oh, going to be another one here as well, if we're not careful. Come on, 450. This thing, they, they still do feel a little bit sluggish out of the corners and going up hills and stuff. They definitely, uh, definitely got more power than this. I don't know why they're so boggy. Oh, dude. Why are we supposed to do on that, that little section there? I, I, I seem to mess that bit up all the time, but, uh, never mind. Yeah, let me know what, uh, what you want to see. As I said, that's kind of my plan for stuff, but if there's anything else you guys want to see, any games, anything you want to play, or want me to play so you can see what it's like, as long as I like it as well, then I'll play it. Uh, but we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what happens. Might try and get some more sort of two-player stuff going on on the channel again with the with the missus. That's how we started this channel, but we haven't really done these sort of two-player games in a while. She's been doing Planet Zero. I've been playing various Murrocross, Supercross games. We might try and do some split screen stuff at some point. I just don't really know what to play at the moment. There's not too many split screen kind of like adventure kind of games out at the moment. So we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. I think she might play that Disney uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley game. I'm sure you've, even if you're not a fan of Disney, I'm sure you've all heard of everyone playing that. That'll be on the channel at some point. She'll be playing that. I expect. So if any of you're uh, any of you interested in Disney or your partners or anything are interested in Disney, then uh, let them know. Should be playing that at some point. I might, I might join in a little bit every now and then. I'm not a Disney fan in the slightest. I know nothing about Disney characters, but uh, the game looks pretty cool. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Obviously, a little bit different to uh, to Motocross. Really, I've been watching loads of videos of like NBA 2K and like uh, the, obviously MLB the Show and Madden and all that. Like, and I do love those kind of games. I'm into like my American sports. I don't know if I've mentioned this on the channel before, but. I did do a little baseball series ages ago when we first started the channel, but um, it didn't really do very well. And I, I, I'm not trying to compete with like all the all the big baseball player game players, that, yeah, baseball YouTubers that play MLB The Show and all the Madden boys and NBA and all that. But those games are cool, man. So I might, I'll maybe at some point we'll do something different. They're just so expensive. There's like 70 quid for that NBA 2K23 game. I don't want to play it because it looks pretty cool. Like there's a like, little story mode in there and stuff, and you know, something a bit different. But. Um, 70 quid for a game. That, that is what we're getting at now. Like, this was cheap, and I bought the expensive version of this. This was 60 quid, but obviously with everything. And the original, this was like, well, the base game was only like 35 quid. 70 pounds is what we're getting into nowadays with uh, AAA games. And I just find that mental. I know the world has got expensive. I know consoles are expensive. I know we're on the PS5 and the Xbox Series X and all that, but 70 pounds for a game just blows my mind. I remember when I was a kid, I know, I know, I'm just gonna sound old now, like games were like 20 quid, like tops. 20 quid, I reckon, PS1, maybe. Yeah, I reckon they were, 20, 15, 20 quid. 
maybe 30 at a push towards the end of it, maybe. Maybe I'm not even, maybe I'm getting that wrong. Maybe it was, maybe it was 20, I don't know. But it's just, I just, I don't know. It seems crazy to me that we're up to 70 quid and a lot of these games aren't even finished. So that's, that's the thing that winds me up enough. Anyway, we're, we're, let's not get into a rant about that uh, at the end of this episode. Save that for another time, but yeah. What I was trying to say was, if anyone's interested in any, like American sports, uh, and you know, like NBA or stuff like that, then maybe let me know, let me know in the comments, maybe I'll do a series on it. I'm not going to be competing with obviously all the big YouTubers, they're all going to, I mean the games are already out, obviously I'm well behind, obviously they're all released already for this year, so, uh, but yeah, maybe, maybe at some point we'll do a little series on something different, only for a bit, we'll obviously stick with the, uh, the motorbikes, that is the, the main, my main focus on this channel, but uh, Anyway, right, there we go. We're coming up to the end of the race, I believe. We should be getting towards the finish line. We're, uh... We're miles ahead, considering we gave him that lead. But, uh, never mind. We're going to take four wins on the bounce. There's the finish line. Not a bad comeback, to be fair, from my, uh... Solid two weeks off playing this game. But there we go. I think I'll just leave it there, guys. Don't bother going back to the compound. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave some comments down below, as I said. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. It's very much appreciated. And please subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to a 1,000 subscribers. You never know. We might get there eventually this year. Hopefully. We'll wait and see. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye.